Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Beloved Masters, when we say, you must seek to express unconditional love to those around you, we mean the highest frequencies of love attainable for that particular level of self-expression. The frequencies of love will increase in power and perfection with each more refined level of self-consciousness you attain. Remember, we have often told you, pure perfection is only possible within the essence of the Supreme Creator. Every individual, fragmented spark of divinity from the greatest to the smallest will embody and project vibrational patterns that are less than total purity and perfection. Your goal is to integrate the highest frequency patterns achievable at each level of consciousness. When you tap into the wellspring of sacred love within the seed atom of your sacred heart core, you will know without a doubt that the essence of your godparents dwells within. The question has been asked, what is the difference between unconditional love and sacred love? Within all levels of consciousness there is an accepted range of vibrational frequency patterns that you will experience, or the range of duality that has been designed for that stage of development. We call this the spectrum of light and shadows, which is composed of a harmonious frequency range running through the center. The vibrational frequencies increase with each higher subdimensional level you achieve. There is a range of frequencies created especially for the mental body, another range for the emotional body, and a more refined range for the etheric body that must be achieved before you may move to the next higher level. As you move into a more harmonious, vibrational frequency level, a fragment of your higher self, which is attuned to that level, will take up residency within your soul star. The higher self that has been your overlighting influence for the last phase of experience will move into your sacred heart chamber and merge with your memory seed atom soul self. The flame within the sacred heart is one of the primary manifestations of the Supreme Creator. Deep within your diamond core God cell, which contains the white fire essence of the Creator, is a God seed atom which contains the Vesica Pisces symbol composed of the divine will and all the qualities, virtues and attributes of our God Father, the divine love from our Mother God, and the intellect or intuition components of their divine children. The iridescent blue of the Father God or the iridescent pink of the Mother God or the golden sphere of the aspects, qualities, virtues and talents for their divine children to use as they journey forth to manifest worlds without end. True joy and adoration spring forth from the sacred heart and the soul, where unity prevails. From a human perspective, it may be difficult to imagine that your sacred heart, your diamond core God cell and your soul are all an intrinsic part of your true essence. When you focus on the sacred heart, it will seem to take a predominant position, when you focus on your diamond core God cell, its power and majesty will come to the fore. After you have integrated all of your current lifetime soul fragments of your oversoul higher self, they become a small facet of your earthly god seed atom within the sacred heart chamber, which will eventually become a blazing white fire seed atom of creator love encompassing your entire solar power center. So please, dear hearts, do not try to compartmentalize the components of your essence, for they are in the process of becoming a part of one unified whole. The blazing white fire, memory seed elements of creator consciousness continually replicate themselves, and through invocation they will eventually transform all of humanity's distorted creations. The fire element is the supreme force of the five elements, fire, air, earth, water, and spiritual ethers. It is important that you draw forth the maximum amount of adamantin particles of creator light into your physical vessel so the sacred fire of creation may be ignited with your pure intention, and so you may then radiate this wondrous gift out into the world. However, ponder this, when was the last time you sought to experience the exquisite feeling of sacred love by turning inward into the sanctity of your sacred heart? Radiate love to your mother or father God inwardly and feel your solar power center expand with the most profound feeling of love that you have ever experienced. Go inward, beloveds, for your godparents await you there. In actuality, it is the sacred love of our father or mother God that activates and ignites the adamantin particles of God light that you draw forth from the river of life. 
Are you cultivating the strengths and qualities of your soul or the wants and weaknesses of your ego? Your attitude determines the altitude and the refinement of your vibrational patterns. Until you have opened the lines of communication and have gained access to the wisdom of your soul self, your solar plexus functions as your radiating energy center on the physical plane. It is also a part of the physical, emotional center. As your soul self becomes the overlighting influence in your life, you will gradually gain access to your sacred heart and your sacred mind centers. As a result, your solar plexus is gradually integrated into what is called the solar power center, which consists of the solar plexus, the heart, thymus, and throat. Thereafter, your sacred heart will be your center of power, for you will have a constant flow of adamantine particles of life flowing through your sacred heart center, throughout your physical form and then out into the world. You will also find solace, strength, and compassion within the inner sanctum of the sacred heart. The Supreme Creator is pure love the ultimate state of being. Each divine spark of light contains a white fire memory seed atom of undiluted Creator consciousness, adamantine particles of divine light. These sparks of divinity contain the love, divine will and wisdom to create everything in existence past, present, or future. This God Seed Atom was placed within the center of your Diamond Core God Cell for this sub-universal experience. The inner memory Seed Atom of vision and intuition must be gradually opened and brought into sharp focus. Atoms and molecules are miniature solar systems with a central nucleus and orbiting electrons but are mostly composed of space. The nucleus and electrons are not solid matter, but forms of energy, energy which takes on form. All shapes and geometric patterns have an energetic signature. Remember, every thought or statement you make has a specific range of vibrational frequencies. If you repeat a statement often enough, it becomes firmly implanted within your subconscious mind as a part of your truth. It matters not if the frequency patterns are of a high or low vibration or whether they are true or false. Over time, your subconscious mind will integrate them into your memory bank of established beliefs. Criticism can be a positive thing as long as it is not permitted to become destructive, expressed with malice or with a desire to hurt. There are times when criticism is an expression of fact when it is a neutral recognition of limitation. However, please be careful of value judgments. Remember to use your free will wisely you always have the right to accept or decline a judgment statement. The energies of love from the vantage point of an enlightened soul are totally different than the energies from those who are still playing the distorted game of duality or me versus you. You must first open your physical heart and mind to the love and wisdom of your soul. As the love grows within your solar heart center, a magical thing takes place. Slowly the portal to your sacred heart opens and the sacred love stored there begins to flow throughout your physical vessel, especially throughout the chakra system, seven physical body-mind centers. You begin to realize that you are a divine spark of our Father or Mother God, and you are worthy of love and respect as well as all the joy, beauty and bounty of all creation. Love projected outward from the sacred heart core results in a constant flow of self-assurance and self-acceptance. A person centered within his or her sacred heart is always striving to incorporate and project more of the blissful feeling of unity and harmony. This is a precious feeling, which becomes an intrinsic part of your being once you have gained access to the river of light or love or life, and you have a steady flow of creator light into and through your sacred heart. Beloved ones, welcome the challenges and see them as opportunities, for as you emerge on the other side of each leap in consciousness, another facet of your divinity will be waiting to integrate within you. Ask and we will assist you in every endeavor. Call on us and we will bolster your courage and lighten your burdens. Even as you walk among the shadow lands of chaos and great change, know that the days ahead are bright with promise as you walk the path the masters walked before you. We shower down upon you a full measure of the radiance of our Father or Mother God. You all are among the chosen, and in you, we are well pleased. Archangel Michael and the Ascended Masters Cosmic Council of Twelve